This is how you trace a bitmap using Inkscape. First, after you open up a new document, you have to import the bitmap to be traced. Do that by clicking on File, Import. Select the bitmap, which can be a JPEG. When this comes up, you select Embed and click OK. You can click and drag to position the bitmap to be traced. You can zoom in and zoom out using controls down here in the lower right. You can also hold down the left control key and use your mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out easily. Next thing we have to do is trace uh, the bitmap. Do that by selecting the bitmap first. You come up to path, trace bitmap. And just take the default options on this screen. Click update. Actually, we need to use edge detection, not brightness, cutoff. Click that, click update over here, you get a little preview, and then you click OK, close that window, and now we've got a Inkscape traced bitmap. Um, we've still got the original image that we have to delete. We do that by clicking the original background and press the delete key or you can go edit and cut we'll get rid of it so now we're left with just the trace the next step is to uh, select the tracing and adjust the fill and stroke of the trace lines do that by clicking on this edit pass by node actually click on the tracing then we go to object fill and stroke and this window over here will pop up we want to actually remove the fill so we change it from the solid fill to no fill and then we want to add a stroke which is set to none we want to make that a solid stroke so it adds the lines back in. Now if we click over here, now you can see there's the tracing, but the problem is it's traced on the inside and the outside of the original drawing. So it's like a double line. The next step is to set up our layers. We do that by clicking on layer and layers down here at the bottom it adds this little layer section we've got layer one by default we'll go ahead and change the name of that we'll call it bitmap and you can see the way the layers work you can turn them on and off by clicking that and you can also lock a layer which we'll do by clicking the little padlock and that prevents you from being able to change that particular layer. So now we'll add a new layer. We'll call it Trace. And that's the one that's selected over here. So that's the one that we'll be drawing on. Now we can go ahead and close these windows to get them out of the way. And we can do our manual tracing. And the way we do this is pick an area we want to start with, zoom in, again hold down the left control key, use the mouse scroll wheel, and we'll zoom in about like that. And we start drawing lines, we do that by clicking on this tool here, draw Bezier curves and straight lines. 
basically you just pick a line click once where you want to start move your mouse click again move the mouse click again move the mouse and you just keep doing that like so sometimes you're going around a tight corner you want to do closer lines and scroll off the uh, edge of the screen here you hold down your middle mouse button you can drag the whole image without stopping your line and you can just keep on going Now here I'm at the end of this line. Instead of using my left mouse button, I'll use my right mouse button. And that ends the line. And you can see here's the, uh, the new line that I just drew. Um, problem is it's a bunch of straight lines, so we have to convert it. We'll do that by clicking this Edit Pass by Node button. And click on the line see each one of these diamonds is a node and we've only got one selected we need to select all the nodes in that line you can either go uh, let's see select all or you can press control a now you can see all the nodes are selected then we come up here to this button here make selected segments curves this will convert the lines to curves so that smooths it out a little bit and then the next button is make selected nodes auto smooth click that and you can see that it smooths the line out further and if we need to fine tune it you can click on the line and you can use your left mouse button to drag the nodes around to get the uh, desired shape Turn our uh, layers back on. Click layer, layers. And you can see if I turn off the original bitmap, we're left with just the line that I traced. And I will zoom out. Click off that. So there's the line that I just drew. Basically, you just do that for the entire image. Um, and get a uh, complete tracing. Once you're done, click File, Save, and we want to save in the default Inkscape format, which is SVG. Just give it a name. Save, and then there you go. And that leaves a format that's suitable to be imported into a drafting program to use with the router.